Welcome back. Let's bring you a couple of stories from Benue State now. And the first one has to do with the environment. Environmentalists and residents in Makredi are appealing to the state government to provide a proper dump sites and transfer stations to stop indiscriminate refuse disposal in Makredi. The appeal is coming on the heels of discussions between the state government and a German firm to convert the huge waste material into biogas for power generation. Perhaps the most concerned residents are those living on Ishaya Bukut Street. They accuse the State Environmental Sanitation Agency of converting their street into a waste disposal transfer station, causing air and water pollution. This is the Ishaya Bakut Way, one of the major streets of Makudi Benue State, with waste disposed indiscriminately. Residents point accusing fingers at the Benue State Environmental Sanitation Agency, Bensessa, for the mess. It's Benue State Sanitation and Environmental, Bensessa. They used to pour this dirty here every day, and the thing has been affecting us since. I see some of the, I see the, the I see their vehicle, and the, their workers. They come around to pour this waste here, and I know very well that this is illegal and the government is not doing anything on it. Just minutes after, a waste disposal truck belonging to Bensessa arrives on the scene and discharges its contents on the already clogged waste site. Efforts to see the general manager of Bensessa, the agency's office, prove abortive, but we find an aid to the state government who was out on the streets digging up blocked drainages. He offers some explanations. I know that for I know for a fact that a lot of drainages have been have been dug by past administrations. When you, when you go to some of the drainages that we have been able to dig out, I I saw somebody yesterday who came and saw and said, "Is it that there was a drainage here in the past?" We said yes, just that it was not maintained. However, there might be hope in the horizon as Benue State Governor Samuel or Tom opens discussions with a German firm to convert wastes into biogas. Uh, it's a good thing. I'm excited about this. I've heard so much about uh, biogas and the opportunities that are in biogas, but I've not had the privilege of witnessing and seeing one. But today, the journey to seeing one has started. If seen through to its completion, the project promises to guarantee a cleaner and healthier environment, as well as a source of wealth for the Benue State Capital. Meanwhile, our second story from Benue has to do with recurrent expenditure. The state government is taking steps to further cut down on the, further, on the over 7 billion naira monthly wage bill, which Governor Samuel Otom describes as the highest within the North Central region. Governor Otom, while inaugurating another salary verification committee after the initial staff audit of 2015, charged the team to fish out ghost workers who are diverting millions of naira from the state's coffers. Chairman of the committee speaks on his experience with a group of syndicate who specialize in fixing names of retired and deceased staff names into the payroll for their own profit. At the state level alone, we have a wage bill of over three billion. When you add pension, which is about 550 million, and then when you add overheads, it's good to four billion. At the local government level, board teachers and local government staff, we have an average wage bill monthly of over 3.7 billion. So it is a big challenge and we cannot continue in this manner. As you may be aware, our administration is determined to bring positive changes and values in the conduct of government business and we want to plug all leakages that drain the state of East Coast resources, especially finances. We believe that ghost workers cannot simply exist without individuals or groups of individuals 
who aid or facilitate their existence for pecuniary reasons. Mr. Samuel Otom, Benway State Governor. Finally, in the South South, as part of efforts to ensure prosperity for all Delta State Indigents, Governor Ifan Yokoa says agro industrial parks will be established in the state. He said this in Asaba while receiving the results of a feasibility study on the proposed facilities. The state government is optimistic that the industrial parks will create 10,000 direct employment and more than 100,000 indirect jobs. And that is where we will leave it for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where north, south, east and west, we tell you what's happening currently across the country. Thanks for watching. I'm Olumide Macaulay.